Hello and welcome back to Bookish and welcome back to Tag Tuesday. <clears throat> Today I wanted to do the Yes Chef tag. This tag was created by Caitlin over at Bandy's Books. She was kind enough to tag me in her original video. I'll leave a link to that in her channel down below. Uh, please go check that out. Check her out her video and her channel. Great channel. Uh, great tag video. <clears throat> so this tag is based on the fact that Caitlin is a chef. So this is called the Yes Chef tag. I did work in restaurants pretty much uh, in high school and uh, in college, mostly as a waiter, uh, but I did work um, as a cook in a uh, small restaurant for a while. I've been a busboy, a dishwasher, um, those were kind of my jobs. So this was really, um, uh, this tag really kind of reminded me of that a little bit. So uh, here we go with the questions. Uh, question number one, have you ever read a book about or written by a chef? If so, which ones and did you enjoy it? I don't think I've ever read a book written by a chef, but I did read uh, part of Anthony Bourdain's Kitchen Confidential when it was published in The New Yorker back in the day. I had a subscription to The New Yorker, and I remember reading that uh, piece that, of, of his book that was in The New Yorker, uh, and it really resonated with me about <clears throat> things like that I guess would might shock people a little bit. And uh, one of the things I remember him saying was that um, if you eat in a restaurant, uh, people have had their fingers in a, in, in your food, uh, which I found to be absolutely true. Uh, and then kind of his, um, his, I think extolling the virtues of, uh, immigrant labor working in restaurants and how many, um, immigrants from uh, Central and South America will find working in American restaurants, uh, behind the scenes, uh, which is probably not as uh, surprising now, maybe as it was back in the day when you wrote that. Uh, prompt number two, uh, let's see, do you notice food descriptions in books? Why or why not? Um, I do notice them when I read them, but they're rarely features that stick with me uh, for a long time. I'm not exactly sure why that is. I do have uh, fairly vivid memories sometimes of food things that I read uh, relatively recently. Uh, the pickles and the meat pie from Ethan Frome, uh, the breakfast from the colony, uh, probably stick in my mind more than than uh, than other things have. Uh, generally speaking, it sticks in my mind to think, wow, that, that sounds pretty good, or wow, that's kind of interesting, or that's strange. I think I've said this before, but the food scene that sticks in my mind the most is the eating contest from uh, Gabriel Garcia Marquez's 100 Years of Solitude. Prompt three, what book have you read that had the best food description? I'm going to go with Hemingway's uh, memoir-ish, uh, <laughs> A Movable Feast, in which he describes sitting in a cafe and eating oysters and how the oysters tasted like the sea, and then he drinks a beer, and I think he has a glass of wine. Uh, that's always kind of really stuck uh, in my mind as kind of a great description of someone eating and the experience of eating. Prompt four, have you ever been inspired by a book, not a cookbook, to prepare specific food or meal? I'm going to have to go with Hemingway here again. Shocker, I know. Uh, pan, pan fried trout uh, from uh, Big Two Hearted River, something that uh, I probably tried as a result of reading uh, that short story. Let's see, prompt five, do you have a favorite cookbook? I don't have a favorite published cookbook. Uh, my wife, and I'm sure this is true with many people, has a cookbook in which we have collected, she has collected recipes uh, from family members over the years. Uh, most of those are things that she cooks. I think there are one or two in there, things that I cook. Uh, generally speaking, uh, when I need a recipe or I wanna cook something, I look up the, uh, the recipe online and then I skip through that whole long story about the recipe just to get down to the ingredients and the preparation. Um, prep, Prompt six, if you could share a meal with one author, dead or alive, who would it be? I'm going to go with Toni Morrison. Again, I think I've given this answer to a similar question before, uh, but I understand that Toni Morrison was a great cook. I would love to get to talk to Toni Morrison, even though I'd be completely intimidated, completely out of my depth. Uh, but uh, I have a feeling she's such a great cook. And she seemed like a charming person that she would, uh, it would, you know, I would be at ease at some point, at least enjoy a really good meal. Uh, assuming she cooks it, what I would bring to the meal would probably be uh, scones. I make a pretty good, uh, well, American style scone. I don't, my English scones are not terrible, but the American style scones you find at Starbucks, I'd probably bring those. Uh, so maybe we'd have to have like brunch. Uh, anyway, uh, prompt seven. Uh, if you had 24 hours to live and you could eat one meal and read one book, what would you eat and what would you read? So uh, 
Uh, if I could just have one meal, I would have sushi with my son. Uh, any of the sushi restaurants we like to go to around here, that's always uh, just a treat. It's something we enjoy uh, doing together. Uh, so I would definitely uh, do that. Of course, my wife could come along too, but she's not as big a fan of sushi as uh, my son and I are. And I would read a, um, a book of William Trevor short stories, 24 Hours to Live. I probably can't get through a whole book. So I wanted to bring something that would be something that I loved, something that was quality, something that would be moving, uh, something that would be distracting and absorbing, but wouldn't take me all that long uh, to read. Uh, that's what I would uh, read. And then the eighth prompt is to tag some friends. Um, so I'm going to tag Hannah from Hannah's Books. I'm going to tag Elizabeth from Bokings and Books. Scott from Gunpowder Fiction and Plot, Jack, my, the Rambling Rack and Tour, and Kristen from Enter the Book. I'd really love to hear all their uh, food and reading experiences. So thanks again to Caitlin for the great tag. I really enjoyed doing this and um, look forward to your comments in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.